What if I told you that there is a thing so attractive that even the most prudish person can't possibly resist it? By saying attracted, I obviously clickbaited you. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder, right? But you see, there is something in the sky so powerful that our whole Milky Way galaxy is being attracted. Our Milky Way galaxy contains around 250 billion stars. If we combine the weight of these stars, planets, black holes, space dust and uh, we end up with 1 trillion and 150 billion masses of our sun. Yes, around trillion suns would match the weight of our galaxy. But wait a second, how are we being pulled with so much mass? Yes, my friends, there is even larger object in the space that is attracting our entire galaxy. And we are going pretty fast, as if it called and said that parents are not home. Milky Way galaxy is hurrying towards the object at the speed of 2.1 million kilometers per hour, or 1.3 million miles per hour, or 583 kilometers per second, 362 miles per second. The reason why we don't feel this speed is because our speed is constant. We would feel speed if we were to accelerate or decelerate. The object is pulling us from extremely far away, which is 150 million light years. Keep in mind that even if our galaxy is traveling so fast, it can only travel one light year in 514 years. So if it had this constant speed, it could reach its lovely friend which is 150 million light years away in 77 billion years. But that's if we don't count the speed of expanding space and the increasing speed of our galaxy. So what is this beast in the space which is attracting us? We have known about it for more than 50 years, but it is quite difficult to watch it. The bastard is hiding behind our own galaxy. Basically, our line of sight is blocked by so-called the zone of avoidance which is our galaxy itself. It covers roughly 20% of our whole sky. So this heavy mass which is pulling us is also hiding behind the zone of avoidance. But our science guys didn't surrender, they found a way to see. Even though we can't really observe visible light waves thanks to our galaxy blocking the view, we can actually see X-rays and infrared waves. So this mysterious place is called the Great Attractor. Even though some scientists are at each other's throats, but some say that uh, the main gravitational pull happens because of the Norma Cluster. What is Norma Cluster? Well, it is an area densely packed with bunch of galaxies. These old galaxies collide with their neighbors and radiate large amounts of radio waves. And we point our telescopes like for example a SCAP radio telescope in order to see what's going on there. Infrared light has a longer wavelength, so it can pass through denser clouds of gas, thus reveal more information to us than the visible light. Same with X-rays, but they can pass even denser structures than infrared waves. And it is quite massive. Our own galaxy is big. It would take us more than 100,000 light years to go from one end to another. The Norma Cluster is made out of thousands of galaxies like ours. So the amount of mass is such great that it invites our galaxy for a visit, even if we were 150 million light years away. But not so fast. This was an old theory. It appears that we are not actually being pulled by this great attractor alone. There is something even bigger lurking in the deep space. Something so massive that even the great attractor itself is being pulled. So there is a hierarchy of these things. First our galaxy which is insanely big is being pulled by the great attractor or normal cluster. Then the normal cluster is being mocked by even a bigger mass in space. This ridiculously big mass is known as the Shapley supercluster. It is like normal cluster but on roids. It contains more than 10,000 galaxies and has a mass of more than 10 million billion suns. The Shapley supercluster is in fact the most massive galaxy collection within a billion light years. 
and we and every galaxy in our corner of the universe are moving towards it. It is like a party and everyone from the neighborhood is invited. You would maybe think that Shapely Supercluster is the largest structure in the universe, but no 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 no. There is a bigger structures like Kylum Supercluster which harbors 550,000 galaxies. Remember when I said that it would take us 77 billion years to reach the Great Attractor? Uh, we won't. Universe is expanding at a rate of 70 km per second every megaparsec. Megaparsec is 3.26 million light years. So if something is 6.52 million light years away, then it is moving away at the speed of 70x2 or 140 km per second, around 90 miles per second. Since Shapley supercluster is 150 million light years away, it is moving at around 3000 km per second away from us. So eventually, thanks to the universe expansion, it will be impossible to catch up with the great attractor. To understand it better, imagine if our galaxy is attached to Shapley supercluster with rubber string. It is pulling us, however this rubber is getting longer and longer until it eventually will break. And we will no longer be under its spell. It's like a lady you are running after, but she is going away in a taxi. Scientists don't really know what causes universe expansion, but they named it dark energy. Allegedly, since gravity pulls, there has to be force like dark energy which repels. And our universe is full with dark energy, or should I say, every empty space is full of it. But what would happen if we ended up smashing into the shapely supercluster? Probably nothing. The space between cosmic objects is far too great for them to collide. I think most of us know that after about 4.5 billion years, our Milky Way and Andromeda galaxies will collide. The stars involved are so far apart that it is impossible that any of them will collide. For example, the closest star Proxima Centauri is 4.2 light years away from us. If we scale down our Sun and Proxima Centauri to a size of a P, then their 4.2 light years distance would be equal to 1100 kilometers or 680 miles. Objects which probably will collide are the black holes found at the centers of our galaxies. They will dance together for millions of years until eventually they will combine. This combination will release as much energy as 100 million supernova explosions. Some stars will be ejected out of our combined galaxy to roam alone in the universe. When I think about it, the fact that there are trillions of planets in one galaxy and that uh, there are millions of galaxies out there just in the observable universe, oh, incomprehensible. Great Attractor still not attractive as the last piece of snack.